All right, what's what's up, dude, Silas? Wait, is there anything else I can look at? These heads or anything? No. Wow, people heads too. Okay. This bed? Anything to do with this? This is the very same bed. Yes, that Mankar Cameron or, or one of the Cameron children slept in during the Oblivion Crisis. It still has locks of their hair. <laughs> I'm an absolute freak for Lord Dagon. <laughs> When we had last left, the last dragonborn. Sorry, I just hit my mic. Yes, it was a miraculous time. For you see, all three fragments of the ancient legend legendary question mark Golder amulet had been recovered, and they were assembled and reforged anew within the vaulted. I guess it was like a vault of vaulted depths of. Reach water rock. Yes, and it was in there that three ghosts did appear. <gasps> but these were not ghosts of past, present, and future. No, they were all ghosts of the past. Ghosts of the Golder Sons. The Golder Sons. Yes, and they attacked. They were vicious as shit. They were mad and used many of their same tactics as before. And thankfully, the Dragonborn was able to beat the shit out of them all. And then. Old man Galder father reappeared and did some power and shut that shit down and the amulet reappeared and it was good but oh really it was only okay <laughs> and now it was time yes time to return uh, a whole bunch of other shit <laughs> that went down including uh, fucking <laughs> went out and killed some bears <laughs> and shit like that inside of a cave and now it was time to return back to, to Dawnstar and report in on these amazing bear necessities, bear discoveries, good things with bears. This is the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Welcome back. And for no particular reason whatsoever, let's just check this real quick. Let's just make sure that this... Okay. Just no reason, you know. Just something I do every now and again at the beginning of a video for no particular reason. <laughs> <laughs> Let us get out of here, huh? Let's get out of here. Also, this video will probably be going up a little late because I had to do a whole bunch of prep work, so to speak. Built up a whole bunch of this place, right? Perhaps the uh, the main hall here doesn't look too different, but... Oh, jeez. Also, of course, inventory management. Got all this built up. Not fully built up. I believe there's quite a few other knickknacks. But this, this is looking pretty good. Look at all these little guys, huh? Look at that. Oh, I can't actually pull them off of there. Oh no. Really? Hang on. Let me scream at it and see if they even like are they part of the model? Foos! Wow! Jeez, I can't believe my foos didn't even move anything. Wow, steamed crab legs just on the table too. Daring. Holy shit. A snowberry crostata? What is that? It looks amazing! Holy shit! Though I think I would still go for the apple pie. Right, that is a pretty decent looking apple pie for, you know, Skyrim land. Alright. Oh shit, Jazbe Crostata. Are Jazbe... Yeah, it's grape, right? Jazbe are grapes. Oh weird. Oh nasty! Oh god! Right here, of all places? Jesus, that's some gnarly shit. Clean that up. Get some, like, fucking Salmonella. Shigella. Fragella. <laughs> Bacteria. Bacteria. Everywhere you look. Alright, let's get on out of here. Excuse me, Yola. Oh, there you go. Alright, and of course, over on this side, we already looked around the beds. And up and over here, we got a little... I don't know what this room is. Storage, I think. Right? Just a whole bunch of weird knickknacks and junk. Felt like, you know, probably did not need a storage room whatsoever, but I kind of wanted to have one of everything. Right, spread out. Okay, let's head on back to Dawnstar. We should be able to take our carriage over there, right? I think so. 
There we are, and I've rested up. It's a nice time of day, though it is a little snowy, but that's fine. Actually, it's our it's in our interest to clear skies before we leave, right? Because isn't that how it determines like the weather effects that we uh, sort of act accrue while we're running around on the carriage? I think so. So like if we had did it while it was snowing and we were still super duper cold, it would not be nearly as forgiving. Whereas now if we do it once once it fully clears up, it should be good, right? I think so. I do like how there are some like pre-existing interactions with like the weather system and all that by way of clear skies and junk, right? That's pretty neat. But I would love to see even more, you know. I wouldn't mind seeing like a more tuned survival for Elder Scrolls 6 and all that, right? Even if they have to do it after the main release. Let's see. We want to go to Dawnstar. Climb it's probably as warm as it's we'll going to get, off. I guess, right? There we go. Yep. Couldn't ask for better weather. <laughs> well, hey, if you did ever need to ask, you know who to get in touch with. <laughs> What you just saw there, that was not a coincidence. There's no such thing, so I've heard. <laughs> God. All right. Let's eat some of that. Yeah, hey, look, see? We're not even chilled at all. Cool. Wait, I know oh, you. Whoops. Let's see. Who do we need to report to for this? The Jarl, I think, at least. It looks like. And then someone over there. Okay. You know, maybe I do... They say that do I want to do the museum the quest? Oh shit. Oh gosh, they're bringing shit up now, huh? I guess we did clear the main quest. Right? We're, it makes sense that we would start getting rumors about that shit. Okay. Hey, what's up, Yarl? As dumb as you look. Thank you. You look awful. Better not get me sick. Whoa, what happened to me? Oh god. Well, nonetheless, the bandit leader at Fort Fellhammer is dead. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Cool. Okay. Don't bother me again unless it's important. Is there anything else we can I'm do Scott's here? House. Didn't we need to like I help him three is. times, or is that maybe I'm thinking of Falkreath or some for shit? Over thirty-five years. For over thirty-five years. Let's see over here. Let's check all this. Huh. Assist the people of the Pale. What? Are we not in the Pale right now? Are you shitting me? Is Dawnstar not considered the Pale? I thought it was, like, all this section right here. Including... Dawnstar, Winterhold, and Windhelm. Is Dawnstar actually a part of this biome over here? With Morthal, Solitude, and... Well, Dawnstar itself? Is that it? No way. Really? Is that true? No. It's probably just some weird bug or whatever, right? Hmm. Just some weird bug to where that quest doesn't count. Okay. Need something? No. I've just never seen a animation like that. That was weird as shit. <laughs> okay, sorry kid. Let's go over here. Head on inside. This place. What is this place? Ah, alchemical reagents. The mortar and pestle makes potions, if you can't tell from the name. Just step up to the counter. She says pestle. I'm blaming all the times in the past when I got it wrong, specifically the on Frida. Has cures <laughs> well, she said it right that time. From Ataxia to Whitbane. Frida, what is this? What are these mind games you're playing at? A stamina potion, maybe? Popular with young men. <laughs> okay, Frida. Okay, let's take it easy. I have your ring. Thank you. Here. Let an old alchemist pass on some of her secrets to you. Oh. Okay. Alchemy increased to 73. I'll take it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just for whatever reason, that quest did not count. Weird. Let me know if you come down with the rattles. Oh, probably because it was a radiant quest, right? It was just a radiant random one. I gotcha. Makes sense. Okay. Let's head on out over here. You know what? I wasn't too keen on doing it last time. But I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling... What do you think we take a... 
A tour of Dunster's music. Oh, shut the fuck up. Come on. I was just, I was being sly and having a good talk here. Okay, it won't happen again. Good. Glad we I don't even know where you're going to send me in this place if I get arrested. Where do I even go? I don't even know. Jeez. What a guy. What a fucking guy. All right. What do we got over here? Just someone's fucking house. Okay. Let's see. Do we actually have... We do have a quest for this museum, right? Visit the museum in Dawnstar. Ooh, I'm ready as shit. All right. Hello! And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. <laughs> Museum of the Mythic Dawn? What was that argument about? A courier gave me this invitation. Let's mention the courier. And here you are. Good. Come in. Browse the display and let's talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Cool. Alright. Sounds good. Let's talk inside. Jeez, I wish they had gotten someone who is not only an Oblivion voice actor, but to deliver deliver it like they did in Oblivion for that, right? Though I guess that's the intent, is that this person is not... I don't know, is this person from Cyrodiil? I don't think they are. All right. Feel free to look around. I can't remember. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. All right. Sure. Yo, you live in the museum. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty and the opening of the Oblivion Gates. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay. What all else do you Those got here? Those robes were worn during the Mythic Dawn secret meetings, where they plotted to bring the Daedra Mehrunes Dagon into Tamriel. Each bolt of yarn used to make the robe was colored with a dye made from sacrificial blood. Wait, really? They were all dyed with blood? Oh, fuck. That burned paper oh, is shit. all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes. The blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. Hmm, I like that it's a capital P paradise just as well. Alright. <laughs> ah, yes. That scabbard. Notice the insignia? An oblivion gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon, the patron Daedra of the Mythic Dawn. Yes, an O for Mehrunes Dagon. <laughs> for Mehrunes Dagon. Dagon. <laughs> what the fuck? Why does Mehrunes Dagon get, like, claim to the concept of oblivion, right? Fucking everybody's set up in there. It's not just that, asshole. <laughs> The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun Stagon's side. All right. Sure. Hey, Gordon, what do you think of all this, huh? Ringing any bells for you? <laughs> Say this seem darkly or eerily familiar? All right, what's what's up, dude? Silas, wait, is there anything else I can look at? These heads or anything? No. Wow, people heads too. Okay. This bed? Anything to do with this? This is the very same bed. Yes, that Mankar Cameron or, or one of the Cameron children slept in during the Oblivion Crisis. It still has locks of their hair. <laughs> I'm an absolute freak for Lord Dagon. <laughs> for Lord Dagon! <laughs> hey, Silas. Did you have any questions about the museum? Or would you rather talk business? Um, let's see. Why did you open this museum? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. Oh my god. We hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the mythic dawn's importance, our importance, 
To history cannot be denied. <laughs> I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. Yeah, I wonder which of the two it was. I wonder which of the two it was. <laughs> I guess to him, is he still like a true believer despite having like, I guess he wasn't alive during all of it, right? If, especially if you're a human. Yeah, it's all just hearsay. Huh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so what is this Mythic Dawn cult? They were worshippers of Mehrunes Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The Mythic Dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult I've gathered in my museum. Okay. <laughs> Yo, who is... Who is this? Who is... Who is Mehrunes Dagon? Who, who is this? Ah, an excellent question. Mehrunes Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. Dagon's mythic dawn cult killed the Septim dynasty and opened the Oblivion gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. Right. Okay. Let's see. Let's talk about this job you want done. A little history first. After oh, great. the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the mythic dawn. Oh, One that's of cool. These groups found Merun's razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group, and they're right here, in Skyrim. Hmm. Okay. So you want me to get those fragments? Stop right there. I'm not interested. You want me to get these fragments? At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous Draskua. marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Oh shit. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Damn, you gotta do some globe trotting for this. I don't remember this shit at all. Did I even do this? Surely I did. Okay. I wanna know more about the Razor. The Razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his razor would be invaluable to my collection. God, what a, what a fucking freak. <laughs> Alright. Good luck finding the fragments. I mean, is he a freak or does he just love history, right? Is he just trying to build, you know, just a monument to fucking history and all, right? Maybe... <laughs> He just doesn't, he doesn't want people to forget, you know? He's just concerned about keeping track of history. You know, let's, let's not forget all the, like, hundreds, thousands of people who may have died and suffered during the Oblivion Crisis. All the bad shit. It's just history. It's just history. <laughs> Damn, this fucking quest line hits a little different in 2021. <laughs> Fuck me. Wait. All right. I know you. Let's see. Let's go on up here. Track this. And I guess we'll untrack these, huh? Here we are. Silas Vesuius, or Vesuius? Vesuius, is offering me gold to retrieve the three pieces of Mehrun's razor from their current owners. Draskua has the pommel, Gunzel has the blade shards, and Jorgen, or Jorgen? I think it was Jorgen, has the hilt. When in doubt, in Skyrim, go with the, uh, I guess you would say the soft wa or soft J, right? Okay. So there's Morthal, right? That's probably the least useful little icon they've got for me. Oh, shit. Way out here? Crack Tusk Keep? Oh, my God. And way out here? Dead Crone Rock? Holy shit. Okay. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's our best way over to Morthal? Should we just run? Or do we take the boat from Dawnstar to Solitude and then run to Morthal? I think it may be quicker to get to Solitude first. I Let's do it. No, you don't. You don't know me. <laughs> Let's get over here. 
There we are. Oh wait, this is not the ship that we need to take, is it? It's it's this little I one over like here, right? I don't like taking orders from a boy, but I need the gold. All right. Okay. Let's head on over here. Hey. Looking to hire a boat? I am. I can take. Where are you headed? Uh, take me to solitude, please. Climb on please. in the boat and get comfortable. Where do I climb in here? There we are. Been a while since we've done this. I think we only ever did it once or twice. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay. Argonians and Khajiit can eat raw meat. I do like that they give us, um, survival mode. Little tips and shit, right? Enjoy that. Okay. Let's see. So how do we want to do this? I think we just... Yeah, we'll just run over there, right? We can rent a room at Morthal if we want. 401 Sprint. Good. See, normally this wouldn't be such a big deal of a quest if we weren't on survival mode, right? But now we have to run all over, and it's kind of like a fucking ordeal, right? But hey, you know what? It's fitting. It's fitting that this one be kind of an ordeal. There we go. Alright. Good. Up this way. Through the spooky swamps. Lovely. Which one is it now? I'm getting them confused here. Right there. In the middle. I think. Okay. Nonetheless, we should be able to see Morthal from wherever. Right? Oh shit. A little camp here. I think we've been to this camp before? But honestly, I cannot remember. The Exodus. Oh, you're right. The Wohenjarth. Okay. Oh, yeah. We've definitely been here. This seems very familiar. Okay. Let's do a quick save in case we, like, get ambushed by the Charis Menace. There we go. Little dragonflies. Suck them up. Cool. It's amazing that they made that, uh, the dragonfly catching sound effect so satisfying. Right? I feel like, um, being a sound effects uh, engineer or sound engineer, sound designer, all, all, all of the above for games, is fairly thankless, right? Like, it's one of those things that, that you don't notice when it's working really good, right? It just feels right. But when it's working really badly, you're like, oh, there's definitely something fucked up and missing here, right? But honestly, like, normally if you heard that, like, um, like a coming right at you into your ear, you'd be like, oh fuck, something's going into my fucking ear. But the way they got it set up there, sounds good, right? Sounds like you're somehow, like, I don't know, vacuuming it up or something. Maybe it's the, like, click at the end. Something like that. I don't know. Alright. What the hell is this place? Oh, jeez. Some spooky fort. Lit up in the middle of the night. Oh, God. Alright. We need to go around this fort. Hopefully we don't get caught out here by whatever horrible denizens await within. Yeah, we should be fine. There's a nice road here. Okay, there's fucked up skeletons and everything. <laughs> Maybe they won't see me. Maybe they won't see me. Look, they don't see me. <laughs> Leave me alone! I'm... I'm getting out of here! Leave me alone! For Lord Dagon! <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> Alright, I think we're in the clear. <laughs> okay. And then, is it this over here? Yeah. Okay. Good. good, good, good. Man, it's nighttime, but... Thankfully, it's just not that chilly yet. Oh, look at this. I feel like right here, this separates, this bridge is a bridge into a complete, oh, into a completely other biome. Oh shit, is that motherfucker veiny? Oh, that dude looks veiny from here. Yo, they got some veins going on. Okay, let's get, uh, Dragon Rend here at the ready. We're gonna need to rumble. Look, Aeola's already got her fiery Francine at the ready. Oh shit, did a fucking curve right there. Alright. Now I gotta wait like a million years to be able to scream at this thing again. Jeez, it might fly away. Huh? Oh shit, the travel time. Okay, maybe it doesn't even reach that far. Oh shit. 
I should just hit it with a basic one, right? Real quick while I'm trying to shoot. Rather than get the three charge up. There we go. Good. That way we have a quick cooldown. Then once it starts to land, we'll hit it with the heavy duty triple shot. What the fuck? Where are you going, dude? Oh, shit. Is that enough? What's it doing? <laughs> hey, what are you doing, you you old asshole? Oh shit. You're going over there? Good. Frost? Okay. Get a quick save going. Good. Oh, yep, you're an ancient dragon. Let's get ready and charge up another one of these. Before we start going. Good. Let's see, do I have any shit that I can just, like, pump onto my weapon here? Like, frostbite venom? Sure. Look, that troll is tanking big time. Maybe this troll will just be, like, the ultimate tank dude. Right? Look at that troll go! I mean, it is a frost troll as well, so it's extra good. Uh oh. Whew! <laughs> Just in the nick of time! Oh my gosh. Thank you, frost troll. You've contributed to the... Like, I don't know, second dragon war, I guess we'll call this. Alright. An ebony shield. We'll take all the dragon trash. Good. Very good. Alright, now let's head on back over to Morthal. See, good that we took care of this now, then we're, like, hanging out in Morthal, looking around as a dragon, like, swoops in and just eats the dude that we need for the quest. Right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's get our... Oops, we're all in sprint back again. Oh, shit. Okay. Down this way. Is there anything underneath this bridge? Is there anything cool? Oh, shit! <laughs> I thought that was Gordon. I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I didn't even look directly at it. Just like in the moonlight or whatever. The glint of, um, of its, what do you call it? Of its chitin. Of its shell. Made me think that it was like Dwemer armor. Okay, yeah, I don't think there's anything good down here except some, like, wild-ass crabs partying. There we go. Anything else? Ah, here we are. Cool. Okay. Let's head on over this way. Good, good, good. I'm surprised ain't nobody making crab armor, right? You got armor made out of dregs, you know? I wonder why no mud crabs. Maybe it's just really inefficient. I mean, they are generally meant to be, like, in canon and in reality, pretty easy to kill, right? Especially compared to a dreg. I wonder why there are no dregs in Skyrim. Just too cold, I guess? Right? I'd assume so. Maybe there would be... Yeah, you could, you could like, write in a new kind of dreg. Like, some really furry-looking weird dreg. Something like that. You know, there's, like... Aren't there, like, crabs or something that have a whole bunch of... I don't know, like, fur or something? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I mean? Like crabs with- or lobsters with fur? You know lobsters? They got like fur or something, right? <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I mean? Lobsters, they got like fur in some places. Like on their tails or whatever. Don't some lobsters have fur? <laughs> I don't know. I've never lived in a place where like lobster was a common thing, so... I don't know, I always thought it was like, you know... That's, that's some lobster fur, right? Dreg, they're basically lobster people, right? They're basically lobster people to me. Oh, shit. All right. What time of day is it? Let's see. Oh, it's 524. Huh. I guess we could chill out here until, like, 8, right? Or 10 or something like that. Or maybe even we'll go to noon. Right, and then everyone should be up and we should be rested enough. There we go. More side in. Head over in here. Finally, someone comes in. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got Yeah, can you come over to the counter? Place. I I need I need a room, please. Okay. It don't look so good. 
Are you feeling all right? All right, yeah. Here. Uh, can I buy some shit real Take quick? A look. Let's see. Over here. Hmm. Meat pie. Rabbit haunch. You got any salt? Yep. Thank you. And I'll take a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks. I'll show you to your room. Oh, I, I know where it's at. Okay. There we go. And let's go for... Yeah, let's go for eight hours. F it. It's 5 a.m. That's fine. Because that way we can guarantee that the person that we're looking for will be up and about. There we go. Good. Well, still cold, though. Right? That, that ain't great. Here, let's chill out on top of this. Know if there's anything else you need. Look, while we're doing this, we can cast this a few times. Look at this. That's called efficiency. Don't spread over the gloom. There's nothing to fear. Old Lorbuk will brighten your spirits. Just lend him your ear. Oh, thanks, Lorbuk. Thank you. I've lent you my ear. I'm just... Don't worry about me, Lorbuk. I'm just, you know... I'm just doing my thing. <laughs> this is just what I do. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You knock yourself out and start playing the shit. <laughs> God, people in the fucking world probably think Dragonborn is such a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Alright. Over here. And there you are. Yeah, I think you're tending the lumber mill. Yeah, look at that. Good. Plan worked perfectly. Okay. Clear skies. Alright. Over here. Hey. The mill is my responsibility. And that's what I care about. That's all. Understand? How did this guy end up with it? Right? Well, I don't know. This whole place is like giving off weird fucked up vibes. I just right? want to be left alone to do my job. Good afternoon. Yo, I'm looking for the pieces of Mayroon's razor. Don't know what you're talking about, stranger. Uh-huh. Really? Silas Vesuius Vesius says otherwise. I've heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic Don. Guess they were true. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead cult. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. It's wild that it just ended up being, um... Like, random folks. I guess after eight generations, right? It just kind of passes down, and it kind of ends up places. I guess that's fair. Let's see. I'm totally willing to give him money, but I do want the speech XP, right? You won't miss it, then. You want to heal that bad? Fine. Here's the keys. It's locked in a chest inside my house. Okay, I, I promise that's all I'll take. Until next time. <laughs> I promise that's all I take. I promise I'm I have no affiliation with that uh what what was that called? Who? Mayroon's what? <laughs> Good lord, we just come in here and we start like <laughs> painting all over the walls and shit. For Lord Dagon, dawn is breaking. I do not fear death. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, what do you got in here? There it is. Huh. Okay. Good. I'll take that money. I think that's I think that's free, right? Didn't he say we could do that? There we are. All these things. I mean, look, we can actually take everything. Yeah, we really can. <laughs> we can just grab it all. Cool. Do we just live here now? Look at all this. Oh wait. Okay, that's stealing. Okay. Sure. Take all the reagents you want, but leave the potions alone. Let's chow down on this. Pine thrush eggs. Cool. Songs of the Return, volume 56. I don't know if we've... I'll take it just in case. I can check in between videos. Because we are, um... We're running low on things that we can read. Alright. Really, all that's left are the rarer books and stuff from DLC. Right? Okay. Head on out here. Good. Do you have anything else to say, dude? The mill is my responsibility. And that's what I care about. Oh, it's that's already all. having a Stand. weird effect on him. He doesn't even notice. He doesn't even notice the strange supernatural effect. To him, this is normal. 
This is all plain as day. Nothing has I changed for your I just want to be left alone to do my job. Hmm? Okay. See ya. See ya. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see. What's our best way to get the hell out of here? Hmm. Definitely go back to solitude. And I'm thinking, hmm. I think we go to Markarth and get this shit a dead crone rock. Head back to Markarth. And then from Markarth, we take the. What you call it? To Falkreath, right? And then from Falkreath, we hit up this. And then instead of going back to Falkreath, we go over to Lakeview, right? I think so. I think that's totally the play. We should be able to. Right? You can take the horse carriage from a main city to a minor one, right? I think so. Yeah, because that's how we got to Dawnstar in the first place. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get reorientated over here. And let's activate our super speed. Good. Honestly, I'm surprised there isn't like a super speed buff. Right? Though I guess this is more cool, right? This is more visceral and shit. Because totally it's possible within the engine, right? Just, since this is just like still like massively upgraded and altered version of what they used for the past games, you know? And we know for a fact that you can very easily just increase someone's run speed in that shit. Oh jeez. Something's like pissed as shit. I'm trying to loot this. It's a freaking troll. I saw the troll on fire and almost said a fire troll. <laughs> Okay. Now that'd be scary, huh? Then what would you even do? Okay. What have you got? Silver ring and troll fat. Neat. Let's do a quick save, just in case. Grab some of these plants. No! Screw! Oh, fuck! Jeez! <laughs> oh my gosh, what a hiding dude! Oh! Fuck the grass, huh? Jeez. Good lord, what was I even about to say? Something about, like, skirting across the pond? Yeah, skirting across the pond like a- like a pebble or something. Jeez, it was gonna be- it was gonna be- I was gonna say something funny or- or cool or really smart, trust me. It was- it was really great, but I got distracted by the crab. <laughs> it was gonna be so cool. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Do I need, um... Is that a fucking horse? What is that? It's probably another fire troll. Oh shit, there are a million crabs here. Is this like crab treasure? What is this? It's a locked room. These crabs love to read. Okay. What is your crab treasure? Hmm. An ebony plate helmet. Wow. Okay. Don't really need it though. We'll leave it. Alright, some chitin. I can hear whatever it is stomping around a bit. Should we look through the rest of this, like, flooded area? I love the look of this. It's gotta be said. Oh, shit. Oh, yep. Wow, the crab is at war with the troll. Okay. You can do it, crab! Oh, shit. Did you? It didn't die, though. What happened? Oh, man! Can crabs use paralysis? <laughs> Is that what happened? Oh, maybe we did. I think we just did a standing power attack, though. I don't even know if I have... I don't even think I have the ability to do a power attack that inflicts paralysis. Let's see. One-handed? Yeah, definitely not. There's no way. Huh. Weird. It was the crab. That's the only explanation I got. Okay. See, they've been reading these books, researching that poison. They've learned. They're adapting. Oh shit, before you know it. Crab armor is on the menu, boys. <laughs> Good lord. I'm not a... a boys kind of person. <laughs> Uh, I don't really have an issue with other people doing it, but it's not me. I'm not the kind of person who's like, Alright, boys, 
we're ready. Or like, come on, boys, let's do it. And shit like that, that ain't me. <laughs> and it's got to be said, in saying it right there, felt a little dirty. It felt a little dirty. <laughs> All right. Oh, look, it looks so much more charming during the daylight, huh? Okay. Over here, grab some of these. Okay. Anything else? Nah. We got most of it in the Cloak of Darkness, right? Okay. Over here. See, if only we could, like, tow that ship over here and create some kind of temporary, uh, walking path, right? Okay. Think we can grab that thing? Oh, there we are. Good. All right, perfect place to get on over. Lovely. All right. Is there a way to get all these birds down? <gasps> Yo, I bet there is. Oh, shit. Oh, hang on. I bet we can totally get these birds down. Okay, hang on, let's try this. Just to see how it works, right? Just to see, because I mean, shit, if anything, this is the, the perfect place to do such a thing. Let's see, what's it called again? Storm Call. So now are the birds gonna get got? Oh shit! Everyone but the birds is getting got! Oh no! The birds are completely immune! We're killing everyone! <laughs> oh no! Oh fuck! Do they know it's me? Look, even Aeola is pissed as shit! Oh fuck. Oh my gosh. Look at this! It looks horrifying! I don't think a single bird has fallen! Oh my god. Alright, alright. Let's quick load. Let's quick load. <laughs> I thought for once we'd figured out like a really cool way to use that. But no. It prioritizes actual like NPCs and shit with real ass health bars. Here, if I like shoot a... can I shoot like a, a flame blast up there or whatever? Let's see. Fire breath. Huh? Okay. Yo! Shit, it doesn't even reach. Fucking birds, huh? Or do you think... Could I do, like, chain lightning? Do you think it'll, like, connect the dots on these birds? Oh, shit! Yo! <laughs> oh, fuck. Yo, where did you go? Looking to hire a boat? Where is that... <laughs> oh, fuck. We'll never find it. Oh, I think... Is that it over there? Just above my cursor? Holy shit, I need to get it. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry, I know we're going on one hell of a detour here. <laughs> okay. Is this it? Wait. What the fuck? This is fish! This isn't a bird at all! Are those fish up there? <laughs> no. Yo, what the hell is going on, though, for real? Why? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, is this the bird? No, oh, that's Aeola, isn't it? Oh, this is the bird. Okay. Cool. Oh, look. There's one part of it that we don't understand yet. Okay. Let's see. Head on over here. Oh, you know what? Um, I forgot who, because I didn't think it would come up. Certainly, I didn't, I didn't expect this. Oh, this must be where the fish came from. From inside of this shit. Right? But, uh, someone sent me on Twitter, they DM'd me a... ...little video clip or whatever... Any ...of someone of flying on a hawk. On a bird. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, definitely gotta try it at some point. Okay. Let's get on up out of here. Let's head over to Markarth. As was foretold in the scrolls. Yo, speaking of scrolls, you probably want someone else. Don't we need I'm to? We need to deliver the Elder Scroll to what's his butt, right? They'll clear up like, how much does it weigh? Ten, right? Shit's heavy. Should probably do that at some point. Maybe before we begin our next big super cool adventure. Need a ride? All right. I can take you to any of the hold capital. Where do you want to go? Take me to Markarth, if you will. Yeah, we can go to Falkreath for sure. Okay. Climbing back and we'll be off. Just planning ahead. 
Get it up there. All right. Good, good, good. How serene. We almost forget that we called down a massive, like, <laughs> lightning storm out of nowhere. <laughs> Jeez, the way the clouds were swirling around, it looked horrific. Oh, yeah, we should buy another prior Mabel. You all right? You look like you might be. Oh, fuck, yeah, I keep forgetting. Let's see, what do we have? Crippling brown rot. Light and heavy armor prevents 75% less damage. Sleeping is 75% less restful. Did we catch that from a... from what? We had that before we went to the crab zone, right? I think so. There we are. Pop one of these. Great. Alright. Hey, are you the horse guy? Yeah, I'd like to buy one. Got one all saddled and ready to go. I'll take it. Sounds fair. She's yours. Thank you. Like I said, she's all saddled. Great. All right. The crags fail to trip your feet. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Okay. I don't think I've ever heard that. Weird. I like it, though. All right. We need to go sleep at... Uh, oh, we'll sleep at Vlindril, right? I keep forgetting we have our own place here. All right. Over here. Good. I guess it's just so easy to think, like, oh, I'll sleep at the inn because it's right there, right? Like, holy shit, what prime real estate for the inn. I mean, this is a gorgeous view, but uh, easy access for the inn, to be sure. Okay, here we are. We'll probably eat when we wake up, I think. Right? That seems like a good plan. Long life to Where's you, our bed thing. up in this place? I don't even know. Over here? Yeah. Okay, should we deposit a few things? I think we picked up a whole bunch of, yeah. Uh, there we go. I'll just toss these in there. I'll keep the salt piles, actually. Good. And then let's go for... That's fine. Eight hours. Seems good to me. And then we'll carry out on Prior Mabel over to whatever place, Old Crone's Rock or something. Let's see. What's heavy here? Leg of Goat Roast. Chow down on that. Still hungry, though. A meat pie. Satisfied. That'll do. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got some salmon now as well. Do we have a good place to cook here? Can we cook on this? Yeah. Oh, I kicked something. Good. All right. It is nice finding salmon like that, like we found earlier, because thanks to our alchemy, we always get twice the harvest, I guess you would say. Okay. Down here. Oh. There we go. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some. Okay. See it again. <laughs> Okay, over here. And let's go and yeah, there we are. Let's head on out, Prior Mabel. Beautiful. Let's bring this up just as well. And then... Should we put down a custom marker at this one? Yeah, that way it's a bit easier for me to ascertain which is which. There we are. Cool. Man, how the fuck are we going to get up there? I don't think I've ever been up there. Or definitely not in this playthrough. I'm not sure if I've done this... This Lord Dagon-ass quest before. You know? I don't know if I've actually done it. It may be the case I've only ever read about it, it so I know, like, the said? general sweeping... Like, ideas behind it and all that. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. Jeez, I'm trying to go over there, but uh, in reality, I'm going the complete wrong direction for it. Do you think we can, like, Skyrim our way up that? Boom. Get out of there, crab. Yeah, I think we can get up this. Unless there's, like, a hard, fast, invisible wall. Yeah, there we go. Look, Prior Mabel's managing just fine. Good stuff. Okay. Cool. 
really not much grass here at all. You are definitely not meant to come up this way. <laughs> Very little in uh, decoration. Okay. And look at all the waterfalls you can see from here. Wow, holy shit. Gorgeous view, except for the fact that I'm inside of both my and Prior Maple's ass simultaneously. <laughs> okay. Let's go here. There we are. Is this it? All this... All this shit? Oh, I think this is it. Okay. Cool. Maybe we have been by here. Shit, I don't know now. Okay. Huh. Let's put our weapon away. I don't know if that makes us go any faster or not. Hag Rock Redoubt. Discovered. Oh. Well, this isn't the place, but I guess we should clear it out since we're here. Right? It looks like it's just one fucking dude. Is someone there? It's me! I'm here. <laughs> yep. There you go. Eat butts. What have you got? Eh. F it. Prepare to die! Oh shit. <laughs> Jeez. Was that Aeola? Or did I just quickly flash a electro blast at that dude like some kind of ultra pro? Ugh. Creepy goat head. Four barrels stacked. Okay. Anything else around here? Is it just this tower? That is the redoubt? Okay. By the way, last time we were at one of these, I was asking, a lot of folks went and looked it up and totally let me know that it is like... Oh shit, now I don't remember exactly what it is. But yeah, it's like a tower or something. It's like some kind of outpost of some sort. Right? Okay. Here we are. Oh shit, there are a lot of dudes cropping up on the dude dar. A floating mystery dagger. Sound like some bone chimes just as well. Steal yourself there, Aeola. I knew it. Oh. Let's get unrelenting force out. Good. Knock your ass back. Check in here. Munch on potatoes real quick. Good. Okay. We may just have to, like, carve our way up there to our destination. Come and face the <laughs> Boom. Okay. Let's see, quick saving just in case. Oh shit, you're all in here. There you go. Somebody up there. Woo. Wow, a filled black soul gem. Okay. Let's see, we'll grab these things real quick. We'll search the rest on our way out. Can I, can I cut it? Can I even cut it? Alright, fine, I'm walking through it. That's right. Are you alert to my presence? Ugh. Oh shit, look. How oh, did the boulders fall on their, their own dudes? Got a Briarheart here, flying. Boom. Snailed him. What have you got? Rip your heart out. Alright. I think I crested that dude's head. Yeah. Very good. Oh, you're just a basic baby. Okay. A little bit of money, though. Oh, shit. I almost thought you were Aeola. Oh, yeah. Okay. How about here? Pheasant breast. Neat. Damn, we're getting up here, huh? I like this. This kind of reminds me of School Dauphin, you know? All the tiered levels and shit. Is this gonna be like the super hag? Oh, what the fuck? Ah! There's a big ass spider in there. It, it's too big to even get out. Oh my gosh, the ultimate spidered lord for sure. All right, let's take care of this other a-hole. Where are they? They down here in this? Yeah, there they are. Okay. There we go. Good. 
Loot your body. Eh, nothing of interest. Okay. Let's try and be friends with that, like, giant spider. Yeah. Right? Or animal allegiance. Do we want animal allegiance or kind's peace? Let's try animal allegiance here. Okay. Yeah, geez, we're gonna have to go through all this shit, huh? Okay. Hey, watch it. Oop, sorry. Let's see. What have we got way up here? Run! There we go. My cool, like, drooling spider friend. Oh shit, who is this? There's a man here. Wood elf. Huh. Weird, is this like part of a quest or something? Oh shit, I can't get through. My spider friend is too big. <laughs> okay. Can I reach the chest from like behind? Oh shit, spider friend is so big, their ass is like blasting out of the tent. Alright, sorry spider friend. But this has to be the end of our friendship. Vigorous Magicka. Okay. Sure. Man. This thing is massive. It could be like a mount. Okay. What the fuck were they doing? <laughs> what the fuck was going on with all this? <laughs> Alright, let's remove our mark. Yeah, I think our destination is up there. Right? Or is it here? Huh. I'm not sure. Oh, look. Some shit goes down here. Is this an interior? Oh, it is! What? Okay. How about over here? Right. All the dead folks. Anything to do with this? Woodcutter's axe. A little place to sleep. Big rock. Alright, let's pop down here. Look at all this junk. Could be something good here. Like a vigorous stamina potion. Food as well. Minor magicka, a barrel with some flour. Eat that. Huh. Okay. Juniper berries. Forsworn bow. It does look neat, doesn't it? I like the look of the forsworn bow. Okay. Hmm. Got some more juniper over here. Yeah, there's another entrance to that same area. And bunches of flour. Where was that, like, alchemy building or whatever, right? Because there was definitely some good shit in there that we had not yet cleared out. Oh, look, the triumvirate. Huh, some garlic up there. <laughs> you just wake up in the morning, you know. You just, so first thing you do when you get up, you just, it's like bobbing for apples or something. Just wake up and get a nice clove of garlic. <laughs> Let's see, a bunch of salt, potatoes. Cool. Ah, here we are. Right. Yeah, there were a few, yeah, some satchels full of good stuff. <laughs> some garlic as well. Okay. A locked treasure chest. Oh shit. Okay. Good. And plentiful magica. Did we loot this person? I guess so. Or they just didn't have anything of value. Okay. Weird. Yeah, where is our. Oh, it's leading us right here. Is this truly it though? Well, I wonder what this would do. The boulders again? No, they must be linked to something else. What could it be? Or maybe it's just to alert them of our presence? I guess it's... Is it meant to be for animals or something? I have no idea. Because a... Like a person could easily just weave through those. <laughs> okay. Hag Rock Red Doubt Ruin. Or Redoubt Ruin. Huh. Is that the place we need to get to? Dead Crone Rock. I don't know. It says I need to go through here. Maybe they link together or something? Right? Like, this will send us higher up the... the side of the mountain or whatever? I don't know. 
All right, yeah, well, holy shit. I guess when next we come back, we'll continue looking around this cool place. I definitely do not remember this area at all, which is really making me wonder if I've... Like, did I not do Lord Dagon's quest the first time I played through Skyrim? Certainly, I, I didn't have, like, a full playthrough under my belt of Oblivion at that time. So I didn't have any, like, nostalgia for the Mythic Dawn or... Um, old Lord Dagon and all that shit in the same way that I do now. Huh. Okay, well, I suppose when next we come back, we're gonna poke our noses into some of this uh, interesting shit here, right? Until next time, please... Oh my gosh, look at this. Please, take care of each other.